you and welcome to the Moho Starter Pack. Hi, my name is Danny. I have a YouTube channel here called Moho Gal and I love Moho. And I'm going to show you how to use it. If you've just bought Moho in the Black Friday sale or you've treated yourself this Christmas or you're just starting new year, new me, and you want to learn Moho for the first time, but you've never actually opened it or you've never seen a video that shows you from start to finish, you're in the right place. I've just opened Moho. So this is the screen that I am um, greeted with. I can just click on this to get rid of it. Now you will notice that there is already a file open. Uh, Moho, when you install it straight out the box, opens with an example file for you to mess with. Now I will show you how to turn this off because I am a pro and I do not need a random file every single day, multiple times a day. But if you're brand new, it is a brilliant thing to play with. So firstly, let's talk a little bit about the UI. What I love about Moho is what you see, is what you get. There is very little opening separate windows. There is no different mode. There's no rigging mode. There's no compositing tool set. There's, not, there's nothing extra. Everything is built in. This is the work area. You can call it the scene file. You can call it the viewport, you can call it the stage, call it whatever you want. I call it work area. This is where we'll see our characters and our elements and this is where we'll be spending most of our time animating. On the left here you can see that we have a toolbox just like in other programs like Flash or Photoshop. On the right hand side here we have layers. Oh I've also just forgotten something so I am not a beginner so I'm just going to reset um, Docking, docking, docking. I'm going to reset it so it looks exactly how you will see it. Sort of. Exactly nearly. What else do you have? You have actions as well, I think. Okay. So you might see this. So this uh, this panel over on this hand side, we have like the, the layers. And we have a couple of windows here. Styles and actions. This has like your colour wheel, your picker, whatever it is that you can see. It's normal to you. Don't worry about it. You just saw me get rid of it or add it in again. That's very simple to do. Um, we can expand our layers. So inside this rig, we have we know we have a rig because we have a bond symbol here. You can open that up and that expands further. There are more things to expand. I'm going to keep it very simple for this first video though. You do not need to know all of this yet. This is where we can access all the elements of our scene. Everything will live in this window. This is why I have it big. Along the bottom here we have the timeline. Let me just reset this as well. I have my keyframes um, in my way. You will have the timeline. You can expand this roughly if you need to. Um, you can pull the timeline up as well. Same thing. Drag and pull. Um, I often have to look down my timeline. Just like all my rig layers live here, all my scene elements, all my animation elements live down here. This is the timeline. The timeline can expand and contract just like the layers panel can but there's some things to note about this that will become really really important when you're animating but for now we've only got one thing in our scene so we're only seeing one thing's animation on our timeline um, and up here is the tools one really cool thing about moho that i absolutely love uh, is the dynamic menus so with other softwares, um, I come from a Maya background, so I'm very used to being completely overwhelmed by a thousand shelves full of buttons. Uh, if you're here from Toon Boom, same deal, lot of buttons. Uh, with Moho, things will change depending on what your active selection is. So here I have a born layer selected, and so my active selection is a born, I only have my tools for bonds available to me over here in the toolbox. If I selected a different layer type and the layer types are differentiated by the little symbols that are next to them, this kidney bean is a vector layer. Now when I press this, did you see that over here on my toolbox I get my vector tools, bond tools, vector tools, group tools, bond tools. <laughs> so one of the first things that I got a little bit stuck with when I was um, a baby Moho user or a baby anime studio user, was if I couldn't find something, it was probably because I had the wrong thing selected. I'm not blaming you, <laughs> the blame is not on me, 
but it's just a fact of moho. If you cannot find something or you're expecting something, it might be your active selection. So that's the first place you could look. Uh, the same will happen up here as well when I have a different tool selected, I get a lot of different options along the option box. Uh, a lot or none. <laughs> and we have various menus up here, like extra tool related options will be along this top bar, just like in Photoshop. And that's about it. It's such a wonderfully simple program that you can't go too far wrong. Um, there, there is a lot of buttons though. There are still lots and lots of things around here that you can press and we won't go into those until we need them. I am a big fan of just introducing concepts one at a time. I've taught quite a lot of students now and it might not be the perfect way. It, you, you might be very um, detail oriented. Uh, you might love to know absolutely everything before you get head, you set, you set off animating. But for me, I like to introduce concepts one at a time. I will just say that there are various options around here that if you press them, you can't really tell what's going on. I just want to say you can't break your scene <laughs> by pressing buttons. So give it a go. If you're playing around, just press things. No one will yell at you. Often in Moho, if you hover over something, it will give you a tooltip anyway. So here, I've just learned I can hide my camera keys. I always have this enabled because once I've set my camera up, I want it out of my timeline. We'll go through that in a scene though at some point. Um, okay, so some of the menus that you might need to know, file, project settings. This is where we change our project settings. So in this window, very handy. This is, I've reset this back to default and why is default 720p? I'll never know, but I'm just going to change that to HD. Uh, I like 25, I'm in the UK and most of the TV that we make over here is 25 frames per second. You can change that to 30 if you're somewhere else. Uh, my default start frames, I like just opening a little scene file. Usually I'm messing around in something short. I set that to 50 and then I can click save as defaults down here. That will save that and every time I open Moho now, those defaults will open as default. <laughs> default, default, default. There are some other lovely tools in here that we will not be enabling today. Like I said, this is just step one, step one. Uh, but they are amazing. And like I said, play with them if you're feeling brave. I click OK, leave my options. We also have file edit preferences. And this is where you can change your colors, um, change some uh, hotkeys, that kind of thing. One thing I would recommend changing once you've got started in Moho and you're starting to feel a little bit more confident, this is where you can change the startup file. So here, startup file, default startup file. If I click this um, option box, I always select no document. That means when I open Moho, every time I open it, it will just open empty and it's on me to open a file. I'll just click that because I forgot about this. These are specific to tools, so we don't need draw, bone and animation just yet. Um, one handy thing that I love to show um, my beginners, if you go to help and use a manual, that will open, whoops, I'm on a different window, sorry about that. That will open the Moho wiki. And in here we have absolutely everything that you would need to know about Moho. You can use the search bar. Um, earlier, I wanted to know what push keyframes did. I just type the word push in there and I get the tool that I want to read upon because I don't remember everything even though I've been using Moho for 10 years so that's really handy if there is a button that you want to press <laughs> but you don't dare press it yet hover over it get its name come to the help menu type it in just have a check what it is um, right to the bottom down here you'll have to collapse all these we have menu shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts really handy so really good to search for something specific one at a time. I think I like to learn shortcuts as they arise. Um, I remember them better that way. Uh, so yeah, that's where you can get these. So menu, keyboard, mouse shortcuts. I'll just close that for now, but that's in help user manual. Super helpful. Also there's tutorials and video tutorials that will take you to Moho's own tutorials uh, and even their YouTube. Um, really good place to start. Lots of us, lots of the Moho fans out there are making videos. Um, Little Green Dog has got a wonderful channel that 
I totally recommend if you are detail oriented, <laughs> if you want to know what every button does and all the different ways that you can use that button, those are the videos for you. He is wonderful. Moho Zone, free from beginner to expert course on YouTube is also brilliant. I taught myself from Moho Zone videos, so you can too. Okay, so um, I use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out, uh, but you can use your pen. If, you, if you've got a pen, it's shift and right click on your pen will do the same thing. Um, if you just right click, if you're using a mouse, that will pan for you. So we can pan around the scene, pan, 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 zoom, zoom, zoom. That's all I've ever needed. Now then, the next most important and crucial concept in Moho, second only to the dynamic menus, is the fact that we have something very special about frame zero on the timeline. So here is frame zero, and then here is frame one. Now you will see some things disappear. That is because frame zero is a sacred frame. It is the build frame. If you think about animating on paper, you can't animate on zero paper, can you? Zero is not a frame. So Moho's timeline starts on frame one and I can use the direction keys here to move through the timeline. I'm just pressing left and right. Uh, frame zero is where we build things and frame one is where we now start to animate. That's why the pause is ever so slightly different on zero. So this, if I'm ever going to create something in Moho, I need to be on frame zero. There is a really handy visual clue that you are on zero. There is a red box around the work area. Woohoo! And when you're on the timeline, there is no red box. So we can't animate on frame zero, so we don't have animation tools available to us. We have adding bones and build bones and, you know, other such things. And then on the timeline, then we have animation tools. If you can't find a tool or if something is not working, if you are like, why can't I add a new layer? Why can't I make a new eye? Why can't I move something? The first question I would usually ask anyone is, are you on the timeline or are you on frame zero? That is the fastest and bestest question you could ask yourself to troubleshoot literally anything when you are starting Moho. Am I in the right place? Do I have the right thing selected? Um, let's just lengthen, whoops, my timeline because this animation looks quite long and we'll just give that a play. So spacebar to play, like many other softwares. So we can see this guy is fairly well animated. It's got a few simple little um, controllers there. Nice. So let's zoom in and have a look. So some of these bonds, if I choose one of my bond tools here, now that I'm on the timeline, I'm going to be animating, remember? Um, this is my favorite, transform bonds. Is it called transform? Yeah, transform bond or T is the shortcut. Um, I'm just going to go off down the timeline so I don't destroy this animation, not that it matters. I'm just gonna wiggle some things around. Cool, and this is how we manipulate characters in Moho. So it's bond-based system, not pegs, um, not nulls, not anything else. Bones, very like CG, Maya. If you if you come from Maya or Spine2D even, you will recognize these little widgets. These are what bones look like in most packages, this like triangular shape. And you can see that we have bones that can act as a skeleton bone. So that is just moving um, artwork as expected, just like an armature. But we also have bones that can be used as controllers, a little bit like master controllers or joysticks and sliders. So they might do something different. Helpfully, these are named for us. So we can tell that this is the mouth open and close and we can tell this is the head turn. And so if you're already an animator, you're probably getting quite excited about combining some of these and animating through some pauses. If you are an animator and you're just wanting to learn more, I would challenge yourself to do a cheeky little 
animation with this guy. You could delete everything and start again and just do like something like an emotional change just to get you started. Something with a bit of bounce. You know, try and wiggle every single bone. Try and use everything that's available to you. I mean, you would on a TV show, wouldn't you? If you are brand new <laughs> and you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about, Danny? What do you mean an emotion change? What do you mean wiggle everything? I'll show you what creating a key looks like in a minute, but just for now, what you, all you need to know is each one of these bonds is receiving instructions on the timeline. So time moves linearly left to right and all these little dots on the timeline are information. So each bone is receiving new instructions and it's your job to make that look good in between those new <laughs> instructions. And I'll show you what I mean now. Let's use this guy as an example. We're going to delete all the animation and try and animate something new using something that we haven't had to build, we haven't had to source, but it's already rigged and it's quite nice and we could apply it lots of nice style too. But if you're a beginner, we're going to keep it super, super simple. So I'm not expecting a backflip <laughs> or a walk or anything. We're just going to do a sweet little expression change. And I will do that in video two because I do not want to overwhelm you just yet. I wanted this to be a bit more UI focused and a little bit more of just a, your first steps. You've just bought more, you've opened it up, you're freaking out. What is it? I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so in the next video, I will show you a very simple animation. Until then, press some things, hover over some things, Google some things, have a look at the help menu and have fun with it <laughs> like all clients tell me to do at half 11 at night okay nice to know you danny out bye